I haven't eaten it, but I think it's going to be crispy. Am I right? Hey there, this is Fosky coming to you from New York. I'm currently at Corona Queens. This is one of the biggest Hispanic neighborhood in the city. And today I'll be trying a restaurant behind me called La Gabana. It serves food from the Dominican Republic. I have never tried before. This will be my first time. And I have heard good things about this restaurant. So let's go check it out. Now we're sitting inside the restaurant and we have our food. The food came fairly quickly and the staffs are fairly busy. So as a result, there's no service. I kind of figured out what food we want and here we have a bunch of stuff. We have this plate of four items here. These two are the same. This is pastelito de queso, so it's like an empanada thing with queso in it. This is keep it. This is boido de boyo. Okay, so this item is pastelito de queso. So it's kind of like an empanada with cheese in it, fried. Let's try it. Mmm. The crust is very fluffy. Not a whole lot of cheese inside, but a little bit of gooey cheese. The cheese is on one side of the empanada. Not empanada, pastelito. Tastes like the fresh Mexican cheese. Pretty good, pretty light. The next item is called quipe. I have never had this before. It looks like a fried crocket, but it's very solid, it's very firm. Okay, let me try it. Mmm, oh. You see the steam? There is meat inside, but the outside crust, it's kind of like wheat. I just look it up, it said it's vulgar, so kind of correct. Sort of like a bulgur shell on the outside with me stuffed inside. Mm, interesting. You got a little bit of a BB flavor in it. I also have a soda here. Refresco. This is a Dominican soda. Never had this before. Raspberry soda. Oh, tastes like raspberry. A raspberry version of Fanta. Okay, so the next item we have boito de yuca. So made with yuca, fry. I think there's might be some meat inside. And this thing is super hot. It's been sitting there for like a couple minutes, but it's still very hot. I can't even touch it. So definitely fresh out of the fryer. Mmm. Mmm. Very interesting. Outside is soft and kind of gooey. And I don't even know how to name this, but there is a Chinese dish called ziba which is similar to this. It's like a soft, gooey, sort of fluffy carb casing with some meat inside. Very interesting. Okay, this is the next item. Papa relleno, stuffed potato. But I think it's almost falling apart. Just look at this. Well, actually just, uh, oh, look at that. So there are some beef inside, steam coming out of it. Let me try it. Mmm, mmm, well, Despite the fat is falling apart, it tastes really good. It is fluffy and mushy on the outside, and inside have the beefy flavor, which is similar to the boito, but this one has more substantial flavor because it's a potato, slightly crispy from the outside. That's also a difference. This is pretty good. Soft, fluffy, mushy, almost creamy. Okay, next I'm moving on to main course. We have the signature item from this restaurant, chicharrón, so fried pork cracklings. This is the pork belly. Look at that. Very crispy. I haven't eaten it, but I think it's gonna be crispy. Am I right? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's so good. That flavor, that crispiness, the flavor is so intense to extreme. All right. Mm. Not only the skin, almost every part of it is crispy. Now you still have a bit of fattiness inside. Wow. Okay, some lemon here. Look at this huge piece. Let me try one more bite. Just look at that glistening. Mm. Mm, very good. There's also some onions aside. This is the only vegetable of this meal. Try the onion first. Mm. Slightly acidic, refreshing, slightly crunchy. You definitely need some onion to balance the heavy chicharron. This is plantain fried, a staple in Latin American and also Caribbean countries. Because Dominican Republic is a Caribbean country, right? Mm. You got a bit of flavor from the 
plantain, similar to the banana chip, the plantain chip that you have from a snack bag, kind of like that, but fried. Not very crispy though. But that's just the way plantain is. But this is crispy. Mm. Also very fatty. The fatty part, that flavor is very satisfying. So this is another plate. This is mofongo with chicharron. So again, the same thing. Pork crackling. So it's the same thing. I'm just gonna try by. <laughs> oh my god. I, I love it. Holy shit. Excuse me. That crispy skin, I just never get enough of it. <laughs> oh. That ultimate satisfaction and the crispiness of it. Mm. Oh, Jesus. I will not get carried away. Let's continue with this dish. So, this is mofongo. Mofongo is basically fried plantain mashed into this thing. This is also a staple in Caribbean countries. We have this in DR, we have this in Puerto Rico, and other. Caribbean countries, Latin American countries. Okay, let's try this mofongo. Look at that. These are mashed fried plantain. Are there stuffing inside as well? Okay, look at that. I think that might be meat. All right, I have just finished my meal at La Cabana. The food is absolutely great. The chicharron is great. One of the best chicharron I have had, but it could be a little heavy considering it's all fried food. So it's good to have it once in a while, but if you want me to have it every day, it might be a tad heavy. But nevertheless, it's a great meal. It has some great chicharron. This is Fuxki. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.